Have we found the best Mexican restaurant in Houston? And you've heard of Elf in a Shelf. Have you heard of Llamas in Pajamas? Yeah. This is Zach and Tyra doing a review on Ambriza. Ambriza, social Mexican kitchen. Can you do that, Tyra? Ambriza. Ambriza. Yeah, that's pretty close. That's good. <laughs> Uh, before we get started, if you don't mind doing us a favor, hit the like button down below. Please subscribe to the channel. Um, we've kind of settled into our new house, so we're planning to get back into the review game. Um, and we really are just hungry, so we want to go eat some more places um, and review them here for you guys. We have a great time doing this. We have a lot of fun doing it. So um, I love trying all the food. Tyra likes to <laughs> abuse my credit card and try more food. So and Like five appetizers, two entrees, and... <laughs> One dessert ago. So, like I said, <laughs> if you get a chance, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment down below. Um, we're glad to be back doing it. So let's talk about Ambriza. Ambriza. Uh, so Ambriza Social Mexican Kitchen. They have a couple locations. Uh, their main location is in Vintage Park. Uh, which is on the northwest side of Houston. Uh, they also just opened one in Cyprus, so not too far down the road. Uh, we've been a few times before, and it's really good. I love it. It's yeah. Good. Their drinks are pretty good. So they've actually won several awards for their margaritas. Um, they have several different types. Um, the one that I got was a pineapple serrano. Um, so it's got sweet from the pineapple, and then it's spicy, spicy. Yeah. kind of like Tyra. Um, for the, on the back end. So what? the margarita is delicious. Oh um, Tyra, what did you get to drink? I got the traditional Paloma or Paloma traditional. That's it's one the, of those like That's flips. the English. So it's the English would Paloma. be traditional Paloma or Paloma tradicional is oh. the Spanish. It's Pardon my gringo pronunciations <laughs> to all of my Spanish speaking friends. Um, so she got the Paloma, which is a delicious drink. That's Tara's go-to, I think. Yeah, now. I like that drink. Um, I prefer it over a margarita, but I mean, it came in a cool little ceramic glass. Looks really neat. Yeah, my Mexican friends make fun of Tyra because she doesn't like margaritas. Um, yeah, I. It's not that I don't like them. I just prefer another drink. So she doesn't like them. Like, let's let's well, leave it at that. So moving <laughs> on to the appetizers. Um, we had the queso horneando, which if you've had queso flameado, it's essentially the same thing. Um, they take a, a jack cheese. I'm assuming it's jack cheese. Um, they take a cast iron skillet and they melt it on top. And then they'll put some uh, chorizo on top of it. And man, it is just a glob of like a cheese taco. fatty Delicious, yeah. greasy, yeah, awesomeness. So um, they don't have queso um, at Ambriza, which if you're from Texas, you know, like you can't have a Mexican restaurant without queso. Yeah. Um, but these guys, these guys are not trying to appease our Tex-Mex tongues uh, down here in Texas. So they don't worry about that. It's just authentic Mexican uh, style cuisine. Um, so we just had that one appetizer and Tyra really liked it, huh? Yeah, I loved it. It's good. It's a cheese queso that you make. Queso. Cheese queso. We're hold doing on. redundancy oh, now, hold on. huh? Not cheese queso. It's like a cheese taco. Yeah, cheese taco. Okay. Uh, so moving on to entrees. Entrees. Tara, what did you have? Uh, mm, Ooh, I don't that know. Was a it's, trick question. I don't know exactly what it's called, but I just know it's enchiladas with mole sauce on it. Which yeah. yeah. So it's enchiladas de pato con mole. Yeah, that's what it is. So for my English-speaking <laughs> friends, it's me, um, that's just duck enchiladas that are covered in mole. Oh. Now, those of you that don't know what mole is, it's I a... I thought it was uh, chicken, but I guess it was duck. It, pato is a duck. Oh. So like pato... Foot? Hold on. No, that's not foot in Spanish. Oh. So this is not Tyro uh, Spanish <laughs> lessons. Um, so pato is duck, so it's filled with duck and mole sauce, um, which is a traditional Mexican um, sauce that's prepared. I don't really know if it's traditionally with enchiladas or how it's traditionally served, but it is delicious. You can put it on pretty much anything. I got the tacos al pastor, um, which if you don't know, that is a pork um, taco um, with the traditional pastor seasoning and then they serve it with <laughs> grilled pineapple um, and it is delicious. I get that pretty much anywhere they offer it, yeah. especially if it's a traditional uh, Mexican restaurant, I'm getting the al pastor. 
and it was really good. I highly recommend it. Um, and lastly, moving on to dessert. Oh, yes. What was your favorite dessert, Tyra? Uh, here we go again. I just know it was like rice pudding, but it's called something else. So the entire <laughs> menu is in Spanish, and they have arroz con leche. I'm that person that points at the thing. Like, if I can't pronounce it, I point at it. This yeah. is what I want. Tara's doing yeah. the Spanish translation of <laughs> quiero esto. I want this, whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the arroz con leche is essentially just a rice pudding. Um, and it's filled with uh, cinnamon and it's got a couple raisins in it. And they warm it up. So, it's it's it kind of strikes you because um, most... In the past, when I've had rice pudding, it's cold. Yeah. Um, this one, it was warm and it warm, was delicious. It has cinnamon and churros in it. Yeah, the oh, two gosh. churros in it is an outstanding um, uh, presentation, if I you know. will. I feel like my grandma used to make something like that, so that's why I kind of I like that dessert. So I'm like, ooh, that's my go-to dessert. Brought it back to childhood. I know. And then uh, the last dessert, because of course we had to get two, is a family dinner. So we are fat, but we're not that fat. Um, we got the cuatro leche, uh, cuatro leches uh, cake. Usually, That's traditionally, you see tres leches, um, which I make a fantastic one. And I'm planning to post a video of me making that here um, later this month. Um, but it's, it's basically three milks. Um, you've got evaporated, condensed, and traditional milk um, that are combined together, and it just soaks up into the cake. It's like a sponge cake, and it is delicious. Now, with this one, I'm assuming they added coconut milk. Um, that's what the cuatro, the four milk is. But uh, I didn't actually ask. I guess I could have done Did that. Did you taste the coconut? Yeah, you put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> and then... I hate you. <laughs> so, yes, it definitely did have a strong coconut flavor. It was delicious. It was actually really good. So. I didn't try it. I know I'm terrible. I just wanted my rice pudding. <laughs> it's hard to be a good food reviewer if you don't try the food. I will tell you that. So, in conclusion, Ambriza is a delicious uh, Mexican restaurant here in Houston, Texas. Highly recommended. Um, if I was to give it a number, where would you put it? Oh, shoot. A nine. Uh, yeah. The people that used to live in this house, they recommended this restaurant and we're like, oh, look at us, we've been there. So we're like, we had something in common. So apparently this place is pretty known, I guess, around. Yeah. So it's yeah. definitely growing up. They just opened up last year. And if you can get out to it, uh, I would also put it up there. It's probably, yeah. I don't know if it's my favorite Mexican restaurant here in Houston. What about margarita? Um, favorite margarita? It's different. Definitely my favorite margarita. Yeah, it's different. Definitely my favorite margarita. Yeah. So if you are a fan of margaritas, you've got to check this place out. Yeah. Um, get the pineapple serrano if you want something different. Their traditional margarita is also very good. But uh, definitely recommend getting out there to see it. Mm -hmm. So that wraps it up, guys. That's our review on Embriza Social Mexican Kitchen. Very good. You got two thumbs up. Here's one. There's two. Uh, if you don't mind doing us a favor, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit the like button. Leave a comment what you think. We're really excited to be back doing this. And uh, we'll check in with you guys soon. Later. Adios.